Hey folks, what is going on man? I'm the Credit Savage. Welcome to my channel where I like to talk about traveling for free and different travel hacks um, that you know you're gonna be able to do by using credit cards, credit card signing bonuses and such. But today I am not going to be talking about uh, credit cards or, or any type of sign of bonuses because I'd like to address uh, some of the videos that I made about EDD. Now, um, if you're looking for information about, you know, credit cards and what to do to maximize with rewards when it comes to them, I suggest you look at my other videos uh, and, you know, go from there and I'll go through the whole gamut of where it's, you know, that uh, you can maximize some rewards and stuff. But, like I said today, uh, I would like to address an issue that uh, has uh, been talked about uh, in the comment sections of the videos that I make uh, with EDD. Uh, let, let me just tell you right off the bat that the numbers that I give you are absolutely 100% uh, working. And if I've made these videos uh, in the past, say a year ago or eight months ago, well, some of those numbers are not working now. But at the time that I made these videos, the numbers work. Uh, also, I um, made a video, I think a week ago, where I gave you a couple of more numbers to call. Those are actually working. But see, this is the thing. You guys have to watch the video in its entirety, okay? Because I give you a number, and then after I give you a number, so I'm sure some people just click out or or, or, or log off and then go use the number. But see, there's, there's steps to this. And some numbers require you to do a little more work than others and to know loopholes. So I figured, what am I going to do? Well, I'm actually going to call the one number that I have that has a really great loophole uh, in, uh, in California, but I am guessing that in other states, uh, this probably works as well. You just, uh, you just have to, you know, keep trying. It's hard. I do know that. Be courteous when you talk to the representatives because, um, you know, sometimes they're having a bad day and uh, it's just they're human. You know, so we're all in this together. This is the reason I am making these videos. I really appreciate all the positive comments you guys are leaving. Uh, and all the negative comments about numbers not working, I suggest you look at my other videos. You know, look for the latest video. If you're looking at a video that I made a year ago, those numbers, is, they may not be working. Let me just get right off, you know, let me just say that right off the bat because, um, California EDD, which is mainly the numbers that I give out on here, uh, has, you know, revamped its system. And a lot of numbers have worked. A lot of numbers have not worked. A lot of numbers have gone offline. And so, um, anyhow, I'm going to be actually calling um, a number right now so that you guys can see uh, how it works. It is actually the loophole that I uh, was talking about in one of these um, videos that I made. And it actually works. I think everybody that has called that number has gotten through and spoken to someone. And although this is a number that everybody has, you know, everybody waits for the options and then um, goes through pressing the numbers, uh, you know, because uh, you're unemployed and uh, obviously you're not, you know, a, a, an employer, you know, so you're an employee usually when you're in unemployment, usually. Um, however, I gave you the numbers for the employer. So this is what we're going to go through, and this is what we're going to do, all right? We're going to call the 1-800 number, okay, which is 800-300-5616. Now, listen, all right, I'm going to call right now. And Thank you for calling the Employment Development Department. Unemployment right there. Insurance when you hear that, Center. you're going to press 1. And now... They're going to keep talking and talking about the pandemic, you know, and, and, and different options that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to let this cycle through for a minute, 20 seconds, and then um, you'll hear the information, uh, you know, that happens, I guess, a minute from now. All right, here we go. It's coming to the end of that message. Now, listen. All right, you're going to press two, but listen. Or need to file a claim, press 1. Employers, press 2. If you, for information about employers, employers, taxes, press 2. So you're basically going on as an employer. You'll be talking to a representative nonetheless. Forward slash employers dot HT 
It's just going through what to do as an employer. But what you want to do is listen to the numbers. Tax information. Press one. Identity information. Two. There. You want to press two for identity information. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. Listen. Your call is important to us. Your estimated wait time will be 23 minutes. Do you see that? Do you see that? I This is my first call of the day. And uh, I actually, um, you know, wanted to call at 8 in the morning. However, <laughs> I have children and uh, one of them is uh, two and a half. And he just decided to explode. Uh... You know, this morning, and so I had to, you know, get that going. I had to clean him up and change his clothes because it was pretty gnarly. But anyhow, um, as you can see, I just I just made this phone call. This is the first phone call of the day that I made. And it took all of, I don't know, three minutes to get through. You just have to call the 1-800 number, like I said, right? And then you're going to wait for the options and then press 2 as an employer, right? And then it's going to cycle through. And then it's going to tell you the options. Um, and then you want to wait for option number two again. And you'll press two again. And then obviously it'll prompt you to wait. And they just said right now, for 30, I got to wait for 33 minutes. And I'll speak to someone from ADD. Now, yes, I, I realize that I'm using an employer line. But guess what? The, they're gearing people towards the same um, uh, uh, employment development uh, workers. And so if, 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 if you talk to somebody that's expecting to speak to an employer, you just say, hey, listen, um, I'm not an employer. I'm an employee, but I really need to talk to someone. I am desperate. Uh, please help me. If you say that, there's absolutely no way that anybody in America will say no to you because guess what? They're human beings, like I said. And although, yes, they have their bad days, they also understand the situation that we're in and how desperate people are for their unemployment benefits. And this is your money, okay? You pay taxes for it. So don't feel like you can't call this number because honestly, yes, you can. The reason that we have an EDD is you and your taxes. So you might as well just use um, all the venues possible so that you can get uh, the money that is owed to you and that you're entitled to. However, don't act as an entitled person. And that's the key issue right here is you don't want to call EDD and act entitled because then, you know, you're, you're in a position where they may not want to help you and they may want to say, you know, oh, we're going to just, uh, you know, send you over to somebody else and then accidentally hang up on you. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyhow, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. I hope you guys watch this video till the end because, you know, as you can see, um, it's really easy to get through. And I know a lot of people are having a hard time. You may not get through maybe on the first try like I did. But guess what? You will get through. Just keep trying. Keep trying. Be persistent because trust me, I've helped thousands and thousands of people get their EDD straightened out. And if I give you information as of right now, this information is good. And if it doesn't work a couple of months down the line, well, that thinks, that means things change, in which case I will make another video and let you know that it's not working. As a matter of fact, I made a few videos a couple of months, a couple of weeks ago, numbers stopped working. And I made a video the next day saying, you know what? That number is not working. So I hope I helped you out. And, um, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs because when I do, I'll be able to go live um, on YouTube and, and answer a lot of the questions that you guys may be having. Uh, and so, you know, I'm not, I'm not an EDD worker. A lot of people have asked that, and I'm not. I'm just a, a regular American person that is trying to help other Americans in a time when um, I feel that uh, as a, coal as a coal coalition, coalition um we usually do best and so uh you know best of luck to you guys and take it easy i'm the credit savage baby thank you for watching